I guess the truck search has begun. So I walked by it and then I was like, yeah, it's red. I've never pulled a fifth wheel. I don't even know how to hook it up. They're gonna have to teach me today. <laughs> yes. And I'm nervous because it's big, it's tall. The truck search has begun. Uh, this is my least favorite part of all of it. Well, maybe my second least favorite part of all of it because signing and sitting and waiting for the debate of you know price is probably my least favorite part. But I'm currently uh, driving between dealerships. I very much have a specific truck that I'm looking for. I love this Ram that I drive. This what I have currently is a 2016. Dodge Ram Laramie Longhorn. It's the short bed with the Ram boxes. Uh, it's a single wheel and I got it at the end of the cluster truck saga. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, God, go check that out because that was, that was a blast. But this, this truck has been fantastic. I really enjoy driving it. It has by far been the fanciest vehicle I have ever owned with all the little bells and whistles and stuff. And so I'm really keen on getting another Dodge. I'm tooling around the city looking for this. The inventory is low. We are heading to a dealership right now to look at a 2018. The nice thing about this is that with the current, you know, inventory being low and trucks being very popular, the trade-in value of the current truck that I'm driving that we've been towing Wendy with is uh, pretty high and I should get a pretty good trade-in value for it. So by the end of all of this, my hope is that I have a bigger, newer truck for either the same or lower payment. We're gonna find out. So far the search is not going all that hot. When I left that Dodge dealership, uh, it didn't work out. It didn't work out for a couple of reasons, but the main thing was is that with the Ram that I had to trade in, they just weren't even willing to work with us. It was actually super frustrating. The sales rep that I was working with came back with uh, an offer of about 10, no, it was $15,000, less than even what Kelly Blue Book said my trade should be. And I was like, guys, this is unacceptable. You know, I, this isn't gonna work for me. I, I have to be able to at least get a decent trade in value. I wanted to check one more dealership out because there was a truck there that I had seen on Auto Trader that was a 2016 Dodge 3500 Dually, everything that I wanted, right? Had the puck systems, it looked nice and that, but it was at this dealership called Lifted Trucks. And I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Man, they did have some amazing, really cool looking trucks. They put me in this, you know, Ford F450 King Ranch that was like a 2021. And I'm like, guys, this is really cool, but you know, it's about $50,000 outside of my budget. <laughs> and so I was just about ready to leave. It was getting close to being like, you know, dark. And uh, they said, Hey, we've got this, we got this one truck. Uh, it's not really lifted. It is leveled. Um, but you know, why don't you check it out? And uh, so I walked by it and then I was like, Oh, yeah, it's red. Um... So here's the truck. It is red, <laughs> but it's growing on me. This is what we got here. And I actually have cards. I have notes for you guys. That 2018, this is the Chevy Silverado HD. Uh, this is the dual wheel drive, so it's a big dually. First one I've ever had. It's it's interesting to drive, it's a little different. It's the LTZ package, which is the second from the top. Their top of the line is called the High Country, so this one's the one right below that. It's the crew cab, so it's got the full four doors. It's a four by four, and it is the long bed, which is what I specifically was looking for. When looking for the next truck, because of the trailer that we got, I needed to have a dually. Uh, it needed to be a 3500 at the minimum. Uh, and I wanted the long bed box because for the hitches, I didn't want to mess with a slider. I just wanted the bigger, you know, bed and everything. So I wanted, really wanted to make sure that we got the truck that could handle the trailer that we were getting. It's not a Ram. It's not a Ford. Uh, Kristen said, well, you might as well try all three of them out and give reviews on that. So maybe I'll, you know, bring that up later after I drive this around for a little bit. This is the Duramax. It's the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8. Allison 1000 six speed transmission. Um, in my understanding, after having kind of searched the forums and talked to, you know, a bunch of Chevy guys, 
is that the Cummins and the Ram that I was used to is kind of a legendary engine and this is kind of a legendary transmission. So hopefully it will be really good for us. We'll see. Chuck is currently sitting on Toyo Open Country uh, all-terrain tires. I've got them all shined up at the moment. Now, these are E-rated tires. I will likely upgrade them to something a little bit bigger um, and a little bit more stable. It does have what they call the Dura Max Plus package. And what that entails is, you know, it's got the leather interior with the covered leather dash and then has, you know, heated and cooled front seats, very similar to the Ram did. It's got a wireless charging console thing here in the center which is kind of neat I don't use it because what I do use that it has in addition to that is the Android Auto all right she's nice and polished up right now in the back here we've got the uh, nice you know slow tailgate this is the eight foot bed it does have the trailer package so it was nice that these were already done um, they are the factory um, tow package set up with the rails in them so it's got the spray and bed liner also and it just you know it was nice and easy to set up with the hitch okay this is the hitch that we ended up purchasing to go with it this is what the dealership had in stock um, i will probably upgrade to something different in the future but for now while i'm learning i did enough research on this to know that this is a quality hitch i'm not hauling the new trailer around it's just in here in the garage for now anyway i'm looking forward to uh, getting more practice with it less than 24 hours ago and we are already taking it on a 14 hour car miles. yeah on a 14 hour car ride to denver colorado to get our stuff <laughs> but that's okay uh, we are actually right now at four corners we have heard that it costs money to get into and it's it's just like a blip and it's not that big a deal but i want to go stand on four states at one time well two you can stand on two states at one time no, you can stand on all four. No. You put your foot in the center. Okay. Or lay I mean, down okay. on the ground. I'm gonna lay down on the ground. I'm gonna be in four places at once, you guys. Cool. <laughs> Across like the thing, the Google Maps is gonna say, welcome to Colorado, welcome to Utah, welcome to New Mexico, <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. It's cash, I'm Okay, sure. I know, it. it's it's 25 bucks, but it's worth it to stand on four states oh, at the yeah. same time. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> And you're supporting families. Absolutely. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Four states here meet in freedom under God. I'm down. <laughs> well, we came, we saw, we left in 10 minutes. It was worth 25 bucks. My Instagram pictures were worth 25 bucks, right? And that was it. <laughs> so we are off. I have just stayed the weekend with my brother-in-law and his family, John's brother, and it was so great to visit them and meet up with them. They're kind of in our old stomping grounds in Colorado, so it's always fun to come here because we know these streets and everything, and it, it's just, it's beautiful, it's snowy. Definitely could not bring our trailer down this road though. <laughs> it's yeah, very snow packed. Right <laughs> but we are on our way down to U-Haul to pick up our stuff and take it to our new house. The kids did plenty of sledding though and playing around in the snow. I think that's what I'm gonna miss. That's what you're gonna miss? Yeah. I yeah. sledded down the hill and then grabbed onto one of their uh, swings. Uh, oh yeah, so and the, the tree swing. So baller. So baller. Did the truck fit in the drive through Just <laughs> barely. Just barely fits. Smooch, are you so excited? Uh -huh. She's shaking. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She's shaking. So just, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huzzah! We 
we did it! <laughs> it's freaking one o'clock. It's one o'clock, we have a 13 hour drive back to Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay because when we get back to Phoenix, we get to pick up something cool. Really big cockroaches. Oh. Look, it's just a bug. I don't like bugs. <laughs> it's just a bug. It's just a bug. It's just a bug. Got we got our new truck hooking Wendy up for the very last time. We have removed the shed that was there, so hopefully we have enough space to get the new toy hauler in. <laughs> Got her hooked up to the new truck. You're pulling windy right now, and you're totally comfortable pulling windy. Totally comfortable. This feels exactly like, well, aside from the fact that I have an RV hooked up to the truck currently, but it feels like exactly like I felt driving to what was it, Our, the lazy, lifestyle, lifestyle RV to get Wendy, to pick up Wendy. And uh, how nervous I was, to because I've never pulled anything that big before. And here we are again. I've never pulled a fifth wheel. I don't even know how to hook it up. They're going to have to teach me today. <laughs> yes. And I'm nervous because it's big. It's tall. It's really tall. Lengthwise, I hope we can line up the two RVs right next to each other because I think lengthwise, I think I'm, the trailer is the same with what I pull right now because of the bumper pull of the tongue. The, the toy hauler is like 44 feet yeah. and Wendy's 37, but you got to, it's a bumper pull. So we don't yeah, know. So you, I had the, the truck bed length, you yeah. know, so, which is another, this eight foot bed. So, yeah, you know, it's co pretty comparable. It's just, it's going to be much bigger. It's a triple axle. It's a beast. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Well, everybody, I hope you had as much fun uh, checking this out just like I did. It's been a blast driving it around, getting used to having a dual truck. I know that there's gonna be some people out there that want to know the numbers. Gross combined weight rating on this truck is 31,300 pounds. Bumper pull is right at 20,000 pounds and the fifth wheel towing capacity is 22,700 pounds. The payload is 6,523 pounds and I think we're just gonna be fine. This has been an adventure. This is actually the fifth truck that we have had go around. We started out with a little F-150 that could, moved to the Ford 250 that we only had for a very brief period of time, and then to the F-350 King Ranch that lasted for almost a year, then to the Ram 2500, which I absolutely loved, finally to this guy. Uh, if you're new here, let us know. Leave a note down in the comments below, and I look forward to showing you next week is it next week? Yeah. Look forward to showing you all the things next.